Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for October 18th through the 24th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. I can't, I can't do the cards. Uh, and these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. Um, if they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. <clears throat> Let's see, Taurus. <clears throat> cool. Uh, the overall energy for the reading, the King of Cups. Love, lots of love. Uh, I'm not sure if this is love towards you or love from you towards somebody or, you know, just the world in general. Um, <clears throat> in the recent past, the Four of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Lovers. All right, so there was definitely a very powerful connection here that was left behind. But it came with a lot of healing also, um, this whole situation, or it should have. In the current situation, the Fool, the Queen of Wands, the Chariot, I feel like you want to open up in a particular direction. Uh, the energy that it's coming in, I almost said I feel like you want to explode in the direction of, because that's how it's coming in. Very powerful, very forceful, and very, oh, I can't contain this anymore. You know, there's a lot of attraction, there's a lot of um, this pooling kind of energy that you may feel, or somebody towards you. I don't know, roles can be reversed. Um, <clears throat> but it feels like it's coming from you. In the immediate future, you get the Temperance card, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Something beautiful might start here at some point. I feel like it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take some patience, but something very beautiful might have the potential to begin here in terms of love, in terms of passion. Could be something restored, I don't know. But let's see, let's clarify. Let me clarify the King of Cups. I don't know why I'm seeing this as a person carrying this energy possibly towards you, but um, let's see. The Temperance card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Cups. Yeah, the Temperance card, which you got here as a potential for things to open up and again, it feels like it's kind of faded with the Wheel of Fortune here for this love to happen, for you and somebody to come together in a lot of love. Because again, there's a lot of love here. You know, it's not only, oh, let's try this out. Let's... No, it's like set on. Um, and it's kind of faded here with the Wheel of Fortune. But again, it's it's a matter of timing uh it's a matter of in time it can get there okay i'll take you out because apparently you want to come out so let's do the four of swords in the recent past the eight of wands the three of pentacles the six of wands there is a collaboration here a partnership a working together a back and forth here kind of exchange of energies that feels like it was very healing, very helpful for you. Um, it feels good. Could have been a friendship, could have been a work situation. I don't know what it is, but it feels like it's good. It's feeling good, at least. Let's do the Seven of Swords. Or maybe that's how this lover started. You know, that whole dynamic of, hey, we're just friends, but look at us getting along. I don't know why, but we do. And maybe because the lover's energy was underneath all that. But let's see. For the Seven of Swords, you get the Chariot, the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Wands. See, I kind of see you going all in energetically towards this and then stopping yourself and then kind of pushing it away. Kind of being like, okay, I'll do this. And then, uh, I won't. Uh, so that is the whole Seven of Swords energy of you possibly abandoning this whole situation completely, you know, at some point. Because 
it feels like it came from your willingness, your desire, your everything to move in a particular direction. And then you, because you show up here as rejecting this direction at the same time. At some point, the Seven of Wands energy of rejection might have stopped you in your tracks completely and turned you back in the opposite direction. You know, as to the lovers. <clears throat> Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, the Magician. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. This connection is your heart's desire. You actually manifested this. What you may not have anticipated was the timing of it. It feels like, yeah, I want this, but I'm not ready now. That was your rejection there and all of it that you kind of push this away because they can't really put timing in manifestation, but you try to. It feels like this is what I desire, this connection. And bam, it came, bam, you went all in, but then you kind of took yourself out because it wasn't matching your plans in terms of timing, you know? Of course, again, roles can be reversed, you would know. But um, it almost feels like I really, really want this. It comes there, it's right in your face, and then you're like, go away. I kind of asked for you, which I really, really did, not kind of. But I'm kind of not ready for you, so go away. Let's do the fool in the current situation. Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, Knight of Wands. Let me clarify the Queen of Wands too. And then I'll see how it all ties together. That's what I thought. Uh, for the Queen of Wands, you get the Seven of Pentacles, the Fool, which I just clarified, but I needed a break, uh, and the King of Pentacles, and that's you. This is kind of clean energy. There's no overthinking. There's no, you know, because I was kind of like, I don't see overthinking on your part. Um... It feels like you're guided to follow a particular direction. You feel like you want to follow the, that direction and it, it feels like you're starting to align on the surface with what you're feeling too. So it kind of shows up as I'm confident that I can do this in this direction. There's definitely a lot of attraction you're feeling for this particular person situation. Even it could be a work situation where you're like, oh, I want to do this with my life, or who knows. But um, it's kind of throwing me off because it's not, it's not typical of a Taurus energy, but it is your energy for sure. Uh, it's not the other person's. Because <clears throat> it feels very clear, calculated almost, but at the same time following how you feel about it too, a lot. You know, uh, really aligning with what's going on inside of you about this. And the two of wands there, clarifying the fool, kind of says it's about time. You know, you're kind of saying that like, oh, finally, it's about time. Um, so it feels like you've been waiting for quite some time for things to align and for things to settle down in this particular situation so that you know exactly what your next steps are. Let's do the Chariot in the current situation. Four of Cups, King of Cups, the High Priestess. King of Cups that showed up opening the reading and that's tied up to the Temperance in the immediate future. Uh, I love when these things tie up together like that. It feels like now that you're clear, you kind of want for things to come together a little faster. Like, oh, what's the hold up? I'm clear about things, so... Well, yeah, but you can't rush things, you know, um, and 
I don't even know where the other person is at in regards to this. Maybe you're clear, but what if they're not? You know, I don't know. Because again, I don't see them much yet in this reading. I just see how you feel about this whole situation and how it all got cleared for you. But now you're coming in in this, in this anticipating how it all should be. And you're kind of, you know, starting to be a little disappointed, a little impatient, a little, like, come on, what's the hold up here? Let's do the temperance card in the immediate future. The strength card, the five of cups, the judgment card. You're very clear. They're starting to show up here. Um, this other person you're dealing with, this other energy. You're being clear. The, the clearer you get, the more clear you get, the clearer, the clearer, whatever. Um, they're not in the same place of clarity, though. They're in a place of still kind of trying to move past some things that maybe happen happened in between the two of you. That maybe happened for them personally. I don't know. But there's definitely a little bit of them kind of struggling a little, kind of maybe going through a hard time at this time, which feels like that's going to, you know, that's going to dissipate too with patience. Um, it's their own process. But definitely not in the same place of clarity towards this as you are not now that doesn't mean never that means not now so take that into consideration when you're trying to rush this energy for the ace of cups you get the moon the seven of swords the hierophant taurus you're carrying the same energy from the past towards this you want a brand new beginning in this but you're carrying the same kind of energy of i i'm manifesting it i want it Probably going to go away from it when it does show up. Um, that's the saboteur kind of energy. That's the um, scared kind of energy. When it does come true, when it does hit you in the face, you could be carrying a wound of abandonment here. Of, I, can't, I will not allow myself to be happy because I was at some point and somebody left. Either you or them or whoever, whatever. And it usually comes from the family, uh, from when you were a kid. But um, you probably don't even know you have it. And then you just end up sabotaging your own happiness. Because somebody left, you know? So you're still carrying this energy, which be caution with that. Uh, because you're starting to be very, very clear. And then as it happens, you kind of fall back into the known, into the comfortable, into that same energy. Uh, for the Ace of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. Plus, you carry this other energy of, I want this. I want to share this with somebody. But at the same time, I want to be by myself. Go away, everybody. Doesn't make sense, does it? You know, you can't want to share an energy with somebody and then telling them, hey, nobody move. I'm just doing my own thing without anybody. But I want this with you, with you, with you, with you. So it's kind of like wanting the cake and eating it too. There's a sense of wanting to keep your independence and you can not do that through a connection with someone. It's actually doctor recommended probably. It's the healthiest thing for a relationship for two people to still have their independence basically but you're overthinking things and then man and it sucks because i see you in this very clear mindset and energy about what's you know where you're standing in regards to this and then i see old energies trying to sneak back in because it's so comfortable in them you know them you've done them all your life basically so it's like hey, of course i'll go right back into that which no I mean, it, it happens, but as long as you figure them out as they come, you're good to go. You know, you can heal them. You can look at them at least. But if you fall right back into that, it feels like your life is kind of spinning in the same circle at some point. Let's see what the universe has. Two of Wands, Five of Cups, the Star.
this torment, this pain, this waiting, this not doing anything about anything uh, that is creating a lot of pain for you, um, it's coming from you. You're creating it. And I know it's painful as fuck when people say, oh, you're doing it. Because oh. you want to blame the world. You want to blame the universe. You want to blame anybody but you. But this whole standby or not doing shit about anything, even when you start being clear about things, th that pain that you're carrying because of that is coming from you. You're the one that can move the two of wands. You're the one that has the power to move things in your life in the way that you want to. So anyways, that's what I have. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.